Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier. Today, we got the official Q&A after the RTV Q&A and the concept launch information about the Drake Corsair. Here's what you need to know in 1 minute and 18 seconds. They confirmed that Drake are under-armored compared to other ship makes, but not to the point of being dangerous or useless. The Corsair is well-appointed compared to other Drake ships with individual crew quarters, but they're still bare bones. When the co-pilot seat is in the lower position, the hole that would be made is covered by a plate which becomes a new floor. Currently, all weapons are slave to the pilot control, but in the future, weapons could be delegated to crew stations. That design is not limited only to the Corsair. The pilot and co-pilot will both be able to fly the ship. There will be residual room for cargo once the rover is parked in the bay. No confirmation on the residual space. The Corsair is called an exploration ship, but it's focused towards exploration by force versus the more refined method, let's say, of the Connie. The Corsair does not have a built-in refinery. The Corsair, like other Drake ships, comes with civilian and industrial rated gear by default. The Corsair will fit in the same sized hangar as a Tally or Connie, despite its tall stowed profile. Like other large ships, each crew member will have a locker to store their personal gear, weapons, and PPE. There's an engineering station near the rear of the ship, the front elevator can accommodate four people at once, and because of popular request, when landed, the Corsair is going to have underbelly lighting to help when operating on dark moons and planets. There you go. Please check out some of the other Corsair-themed videos that are linked in the credits of this video. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.